your, your signal. Yes, yeah. Why was it's, that important? It's one of my, that's one of my favorites. It's important to me because I, uh, I thought I managed to uh, accomplish a lot in that, in that uh, writing it. Uh, um, it was a difficult show to get Gene to uh, agree to let me work on, to let me do. I, I, I had an, this idea for the story about the psychiatrist becoming depressed and, and writing a, to get out of his depression, he writes a secret letter to Sigmund Freud. And uh, uh, I mean, in his imagination, Freud is of course dead <laughs> by this time <laughs> for several uh, decades. And uh, um, uh, Gene said, no, this is a mistake, don't do this because if you, if you ask an actor to play depressed, it'll be depressing for the audience. So I took that to heart and I, and I went f even more for what I had a sense I could do, but, I, but it really confirmed this for me and, ma and made me go more in this direction, which was that the guy is fighting his depression and on the surface seems cheerful, but he's, he's got a lid on it and, and is kind of trying to hold it down. And that, uh, that helped make that work, but it is a, it is a danger if you, if you have, if you ask an actor to, to play somebody depressed, their first tendency is to get morose and, and slow, you know. But um, Alan Arbus, who played uh, the psychiatrist, Friedman, uh, I, just, I just loved his work and I, and I wanted to write for him. I was so convinced that he really was a psychiatrist. I used to sit and talk with him between scenes as if he was a psychiatrist. And after a couple of months of that, I noticed he was giving me these strange looks like, how would I know the answer to that, you know? But I would, he just convinced me and I would talk to him as if he, I knew he was an actor, I knew he wasn't a psychiatrist, but he just seemed so, so real in the part. Shows you, <laughs> I probably needed one. <laughs> Too bad he wasn't.